Oh, video game movies. So Warcraft is the newest video game based movie to hit the big screen, and yeah, generally speaking, these movies, they suck. <laughs> There's just no other way to say that other than these things are absolute garbage. But maybe Warcraft can turn the tide. Directed by Duncan Jones, who did Moon and Source Code, two really awesome movies. And in Warcraft, you got the orc world and the human world. The orc world is dying, and so the evil, big, bad orc, he's like Palpatine from Star Wars. He's like, hey, let's go through this portal to the human world, and let's suck away all their energy and steal their children and all this stuff. You know, bad guy doing bad guy things. But then there's some other orcs who are like, hey, maybe Gul'dan, this big Palpatine bad orc, maybe he's the actual bad guy maybe teaming up with the humans is the better option here and I gotta say this movie got slammed by critics when it came out and it's not that bad is it good e no not really but as far as video game movie adaptions this is one of the better ones I sound like I'm trying to be too nice to this movie anyways let's just start out with what I liked about it first of all I really like the world that this movie set up and I know it's based off a of video game so they didn't make up the world they're borrowing it from the video game but as far as adapting the world of Warcraft world to the big screen I thought it looked really cool all the CGI was nice the scenery and locations were cool it feels like a video game come to life in the best possible way and talking about the CGI the CGI on just everything looked really good but especially those orcs Durotan the main orc in this movie he looked really solid there's a scene near the beginning of the movie where it's just his face just a close-up of his face and it was like I mean it's hard to tell if it's photorealistic because we don't have orcs in this world, but it was like Planet of the Apes type stuff. I thought it looked really solid. Now, the battles and the magic in this movie were really awesome too. Magic in movies I think is really tough to do. Well, it's hard to do and make it look convincing, especially in a war type setting. I think Harry Potter did it really well. In the MCU, I think Scarlet Witch, there's some scenes where it looks really powerful and it always looks powerful, but what sometimes what it lacks is like the weight and the punch of it. Sometimes she's just doing her her like her orb thing and it doesn't look like it's really much of a battle. Although it is and it's powerful stuff, but it's all in the sound effects and the way that it's presented. And I think in Warcraft they did a really good job of presenting magic. Now as for the things that weren't good in this movie, the orc characters were great. I didn't care about the humans at all. The main human was alright, he did the best with the script that he was given, I think. But I don't really remember any of the other human characters, like I know Howard Stark was in the background somewhere. There's also this half orc, half human chick, and there's a little bit of a romance blossoming with her. But most of that stuff just didn't really feel all that necessary. And the World of Warcraft video game is huge, this is an MMO that's been going on for years, lots of lore, lots of mythology, and there's only so much that you can cram into a two hour movie, and this movie really suffers from that, it's just overstuffed with information and lore. Jumping from city to city, place to place, that eventually you're just like, alright, let's just, just focus in one place here. I feel like this movie just wanted to put a little bit of everything from World of Warcraft into it, and what you ended up getting was a whole lot of everything and a whole lot of nothing at the same time. Usually I'm not a fan of when movies are too long, this movie's about two hours, I think they could have made this movie about two and a half hours made it a little bit more cohesive. Maybe there's a director's cut coming out soon, like they're gonna Batman v Superman this thing. But I do gotta say, this movie made me interested in seeing a sequel to it because, again, the orcs and the world that they set up looks really nice. And you can tell that there's a lot of mythology in there, but they just need more time to craft it and to put it in a more cohesive structure. Honestly, I would say the cons in this movie are more noticeable than the pros are because the pacing of the movie really bogged this movie down. I didn't care about the human characters. The orc characters were kind of cool and the battles and the CGI, the visuals were nice. But as George Lucas learned the hard way, visuals do not make a good movie. But this movie let me down. It wasn't as good as I was hoping it was going to be. But as a video game movie, it's not terrible. But I wanted this movie to be like the greatest video game movie of all time. Like this is the new standard. Like Mortal Kombat is down here. Warcraft being the new standard for video games, and it just wasn't that. But if you guys have seen Warcraft, comment down below, let me know what you thought about it, and I will catch you guys next time.